It's incredible to finally meet you, Alexis. Your journey's been an inspiration. But I've always wondered, with all your success, why? This modest approach. It's a good question, Janet. For me, modesty in business isn't about denying success. It's about recognizing that success isn't solely mine. It's a combination of hard work, timing, and the contributions of many others. But don't you think that showing success, living it extravagantly, motivates others? Shows what's possible? There is a thin line there. Modesty is about acknowledging your achievements without overshadowing others. It's about being confident in your success without needing to display it extravagantly. This approach builds genuine respect and long-term relationships. So, you were saying modesty in business is actually strategic? Exactly. Consider the attributes of modesty, humility, gratitude, and self-awareness. It's knowing your worth without overstating it. It fosters an environment where everyone feels valued, not just those at the top. Humility, gratitude, self-awareness. But doesn't modesty ever hold you back? Make you less competitive. On the contrary. It's about balance. Being modest doesn't mean you lack ambition or drive. It means understanding the impact of your words and actions on others and on your own character. I see your point on modesty. But what really separates it from extravagance? Is it just about how much you spend or show off? It's deeper than just spending habits. Extravagance often seeks to impress or intimidate, driven by a desire for external validation. Modesty, however, finds validation internally. It's about being comfortable with who you are without needing access to prove it. So, it's about intention, not just action. Precisely. Modesty is choosing to value substance over appearance, depth over surface. It doesn't mean you don't enjoy success. You just express it in ways that are meaningful rather than purely materialistic. I've always equated success with visibility, with extravagance. But there is a different kind of strength in modesty, isn't there? Absolutely. Modesty isn't weakness. It's a different form of strength. It's choosing to lead by example, to inspire through actions rather than possessions. It's about influencing quietly but profoundly. Alexis, this conversation has been eye-opening. I've always admired the flashier side of success, but maybe there's more to be said for the quiet confidence of modesty. I'm glad to hear that, Janet. Remember, the way we carry our success says a lot about us. Modesty isn't about dimming your light. It's about shining it in a way that guides others too. Thanks, Alexis. I think it's time for me to reflect on what kind of success I'm truly after, and how I want to carry that forward. The best part of success is the opportunity to define it on your own terms. And in that, you have the power to inspire, modestly and profoundly.